I was told by a good friend of mine that that when you don't know what it is you want to do, you should still practice going all in and going completely for something because then when the opportunity comes and you find what it is you want to do, you want to be practiced at pouring yourself and giving yourself fully to something. I don't believe we're born knowing how to dedicate ourselves to a person or to a pursuit. Hi, I'm Gretchen Andrew and I'm an American artist living in London. Lucky right now that my studio here is located three miles from where I live and I get up early in the morning, I run three miles through Victoria Park to Hackney Wick. This summer I'm on residency at this building called the White Building which is operated by Space and they've given me the opportunity for the summer to explore my work as it relates to technology, specifically using Google Glass to give additional process information to viewers about how and why my work's made. The moment of creation and sharing that with my audience is what is taking a very private moment, me in the studio, and allowing that to become public and allowing that sharing to be part of my practice and um, welcoming people into the studio without actually having to have them here. I'm keeping the sincerity of the moment and feeling very raw in, in what's being recorded. What becomes really obvious is that there is something in the process that I don't fully control. Like it's me with the paintbrush, it's me with the pigment, but there's this element of what Lewis Hyde would refer to as the gift that is out of my control and then if I just show up and do my job and hold my paintbrush and make my work, there's going to be something else working through me. And that becomes more obvious when I watch my work recorded. Yeah, so a little over two years ago, I was working at Google where I went right out of college. And getting my job at Google was the absolute dream job at the time. And I really did love working there. But as I worked more and more in technology, I became excited about the potential of technology outside of the tech sector. So instead of making software, I was curious about what technology could do to an industry like art or to a practice like creative painting. So I left my job at Google, I saved a little money and moved into a 70 square foot art studio in Potrero Flats in San Francisco. And in order to have access to a shower because there wasn't one in the studio, I joined a 24 hour gym down the street. I think I knew that um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but taking that initial leap and saying that I'm going to give myself the space to figure out what's important to me and to find a way to define success for myself, but um, you paint to figure out who you are. And that has to do with who I am, and what challenges me, and what I want to work on as an individual, but also when I'm approaching a historical painting and doing an interpretation, I find it's easier to identify what it is that I do and who I am. Sometimes people will come in and be like, that's not your own work because you base it off of this painting or this photograph, and that's, um, that's not how the tradition has ever worked. Artists have always worked from each other's works. Art has always come from art. And just having to be comfortable and saying that who I am exists within a tradition and that I'm going to find myself through it. If you take a leap to discover more about yourself, whether it's leaving your job without having another one lined up or pouring yourself, finding a way to really give yourself to something, it's going to give back to you. Even if the result ends up being very different than what you set out to do, by diving into it, you're going to end up with more of yourself and that's going to be a gift that no matter what career or vocation you end up in is a rewarding experience.